Hello survivors, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. So, I've gotten my trusty tire iron out with the blade on it, and we're going to be heading up and looking on the surface, going to one specific location, and then coming back right away. I'm going to be looking for some power armor, or not power armor, but uh, a fusion core and uh, a power armor workbench. So, I mean, power armor would be great too if I find some. I can maybe not have to repair the pieces that I have that are currently broken, but uh, that's unlikely. Mainly, I'm going to be looking for a fusion core in Fonyul Hall. I believe there's one over here. I mean, it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure there is one here. And it should just be ghouls over here, so... Shouldn't be too bad to kill everything with just a uh, tire iron in here. Yep, I hear ghouls already. So that's, like, no problem. We'll just take out the ghouls. There are some uh, mines. What's that? What? Are there actually super mutants in here? Excuse me? There's a super mutant over there. Uh, and his name was Subject X001. Human time is done! This is the urge of the Super Mutant! So are, are they, like, reintroducing mutants back into the game in Frost now? I mean, I'm kind of okay with that, no! but... <laughs> you hit like a rad roach. It's just sort of weird. Not sure what I think about that. I, I'd better, like, find some lore that explains it well, I guess, you know? I'll be okay with it. Is there a leg? I know I've got that ripper, but it's very heavy, and um, headshots are the only thing that will kill these guys. I think I'm gonna probably go through here and clear everything before I try to uh, loot anything, really. Because we're taking constant rads because there's so many freaking guys in here. Bleed on that board, that's good. Die already, my god. FEV contaminated blood. I wonder if that's a crafting material for stuff. A new crafting material. See, I wasn't expecting that. Um, it's okay. I just wasn't expecting that. Suppose I shouldn't rely too heavily on my preconceived notions of things in Frost, you know? I can be a bit more, um... A bit more grabby in what I take in here because I don't, uh, got any beer? Yeah. I don't, I'm not going very far. I'm just going back to where I was, you know? All right, so up here there's a 
almost positive there is a grenade trap, a grenade bouquet trap. Yeah, if you if you kind of aim up whenever you're fighting these guys, it's pretty easy to headshot them, which is why I if you're using a uh, a medium speed uh, weapon like a bladed tire iron or a serrated machete, pretty easy to get that headshot. So that's why I'm going with that for now. Plus this thing bleeds, so even if I don't hit someone, I will get some bleed damage going on them. Uh, looks like this has already been tripped. Is one up here, too? No. Is there a... I don't see the... Oh, there it is. I think that's the little... string the grenade was hanging from normally. I guess it's already been tripped. I was hoping to get a grenade out of that, but... Hell yeah. Oh, well. Duct tape and a Braxo, my favorite. I know we've got a whole bunch of stuff to loot down the bottom yet still. Have not forgotten. Mentats too for more sanity. I haven't start, you know, biting into my Mentats yet. I'm trying to save it for when I get, um... When I get that one perk that gives you more sanity. It's all good stuff. Yeah, a lot of good stuff there. All right. Funnel Hall Roof. Is this where the uh, fusion core is at? So I could have sworn there was one in here. This is where the grasshopper is at. Right? I don't know if there's a fusion core up here. Unless it's like on the way down somewhere. This is a melee weapon. Nice. Or you can make it into a melee weapon. Ten copper's kind of nice. I mean, I can go down over here now. Yeah, maybe there isn't a fusion core over here. I don't know. I thought there was. I thought there was one in here. Not seen it, though. Need food too. I mean, I can always buy some food if I have to, but I'm trying real hard not to spend any money until it becomes a necessity, you know? Alright, that was too much. Gonna check and see. Don't need this board. particularly want any of those weapons. Okay, never mind. I guess there isn't a uh, power armor over here. Must have been mistaken. Unless it's like inside here somewhere. It might be inside here somewhere. Lower floor or something, I don't know. Let me look around a bit more. Oh, there's a lower area too over here. I forgot about that. And, um... I could bust these guys out too. There's a lot of good stuff in here that I kind of want. I might end up just doing a run back real quick to dump some of this stuff off. 
I have to kind of uh, build up a repository of junk. So if I want to mod something, I can without too much issue. And it's unfortunately just kind of costly in terms of carry away to do that, so... It's gonna take a few runs to get ourselves fully stocked up on all the random stuff we might need. Gotta be careful around here too, I don't know. There could very well be... Uh, mines or stuff around here. So you've got... Get some more booze going for more carry weight. Tin cans are a pretty good source of steel. Okay, cool. Got some fancy lad snack cakes. That'll help help out with the hunger. When we're carrying too much. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Berry mint hats is quite good too. Uh, that we can sell. Those are kind of crappy for how much they weigh. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, but I'll be back later to get it. I don't have the room right now. We're going to go back and uh, dump stuff off and then come right back out. This is such a, such a high quality, like lots of... Oh, lots of good junk area. Leading, gotta be a little careful with that guy. Need a bandage. Which doesn't actually stop leading, I don't think, by the way. Doesn't really help. Or it might actually. Maybe it does help. Maybe I've been playing this game wrong all this time. A ghoul mask. That's an interesting one. Uh, I got a ghoul mask already, so I can go. I can go down into the tunnels and uh, be one amongst the ghouls and uh, be a pizza face. Okay, let's go back to Valenti real quick and dump stuff off. Real bad FPS here, but you know. Something about that fire back there always gives me really awful FPS. Okay, so we went around the back way over there to get that. We're going the wrong way. Gotta go this way. You know, finding good stuff. Finding good stuff, but... I mean, there's a guaranteed fusion core in the mass fusion building, but that's gonna be just full of really dangerous enemies. Probably guys with missile launchers and stuff. I don't know if I can deal with that just yet. Get up most of the stuff into here. It's some pretty good profit. I guess I'd take my flamer fuel in anticipation of taking the flamer, but I didn't take it with me. We have some pretty good profit in terms of uh, uh in terms of other stuff too, like in terms of ammo and stuff. Pretty good. Alright, um, Yeah, I just want some bandages. Maybe a jet, just for emergency purposes. 
buff out for emergency purposes would be good, would be good too. <clears throat> Where are you, buff out? I need to take these two just in case. Like, if I have these, I should just take these so I don't get infected. Because, like, overnight, I think, if you have those going, uh, it will help you resist infections. Um, buff out? Yeah, there we go. We got one. That extra hit points and endurance acts as an as a instant heal. So if you're, like, at one health and you pop that, you're going to get, like, 70 extra health immediately. It's pretty good. Stealth Boy is not bad for that either, for instant heals. Okay, and we're good. Back out we go. Oh, yeah. I have two perk points to use here. Um... Take a look here. I know I want to get some lock picking skills going. It's going to be kind of a. We have to have that, right? It's going to be pretty important. Rifleman's pretty good too. I want to have that pretty quickly. Let me look in uh, over here. Radiation regenerates your lost health. Solar powered. More strength and endurance during the daytime is kind of nice. Camera is pretty good too. Lead belly is really good too. Um, less rad damage when eating and drinking. Can I... Um, where's the one that lets you regen? I guess it's not available yet. Let me see. The one that lets you regen your, uh, your rads. What's the uh, perk information for this one? Okay, you don't get that to level fifty, uh, but still pretty good. Radiation regenerates your lost health. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be around ghouls a lot. That's gonna be helpful, right? So these are both pretty helpful, though. Strength and endurance and uh, regen lost health. Wanderer perk is just not worth it yet. Um, 5% less damage and 5 carry weight's not that much. And, uh, yeah, it's just not... It's not worth it till level 40. It's when it's really... We're gonna dump a whole bunch of points into it. Intelligence. Um, gun nut's gonna be a, a must-have, I think. Let's go ahead and do gun nut. I am, after all, kind of going through here. Um... Looting stuff in anticipation of modding out some of these guns. That'll be the idea. Eventually, I'll want to max out intelligence too. Weather changed somewhat dramatically while I was uh, in there for a, a minute. <clears throat> so. Let's go to the uh, the front part here. And loot that area. I've already killed everything in here, just gotta loot everything. I don't know if I'd use a sledgehammer or not. How much damage is it? Kind of unwieldy. I don't think it's really, really worth it. Got a left bone shoved through his head. That's how he was killed, I guess. What am I smacking around here? Oh, syringe rifle. Actually, not very much in here. Oops, some ammo though, some nice ammo. Just 
It's hard to find stuff in all this rubble. Okay, so everything on this level... I think so. Pretty sure we got most everything on our way up to... I missed some stuff in here I didn't take immediately because I didn't have... didn't know if I'd have room or not. But I will take it now. Okay, I'm not seeing anything else. Didn't go into this one. Don't see any traps here. Okay, I think that's that's probably it for this area. I'm gonna go back down and loot the lower area now. Should be pretty well stocked on bottles once we get back. Cashier's chest key, that's good. I'm gonna need that probably. This is all uh, pre-war stuff, not frost related specifically, so I don't typically read all that stuff. It's just I, we'd be here for 10 years if I read all of that stuff. This goes back up to the other room. Pretty sure. I'll, I'll go up it in a second. I'll check, but I'm pretty sure it just goes to the other room where that elevator comes out at up top. Three might be kind of nice to use too, but it'll uh, lower my sanity by quite a bit. Gotta be real thorough with looking at this stuff because it's really easy to miss stuff. Calibrated night vision, not bad, but it's a bolt action 308, and uh, I don't want to waste that ammo on that crappy of a gun. Doing 20, 23 damage per shot, it's just, just awful for being 308, you know? More food there, we can eat immediately. Even more food we can eat immediately. Nice. Sweet rolls and dandy boy apples. That strange meat paste, paste I'm assuming, is... Oh, shit! God damn! Didn't even see it. Oh, fuck me. God damn. Oh, my heart. Oh, my life flashed before my eyes. Okay. Well, these grenade bouquets aren't as unforgiving in Frost as, uh... 
Oh my god, as mines are. I have no idea what I was even, what I was even saying. Oh, that meat paste. I'm pretty sure that meat paste would uh, lower our sanity. Pretty sure it's a no-go. It's a, not a good stuff to be having there. Let me go ahead and have some of this food. And uh, we didn't get any booze, huh? Cool, just some money there. All right, and there are some secret areas loot over here too. Or is that somewhere else I'm thinking of? I thought there was a secret area you could loot over here. Um, that's like behind. Isn't there a button you can press? I just saw money. What the hell was it? I just saw a dollar bill. I'm not going to spend forever on it, but... I could have sworn there was a... I might be thinking of a different area, though. I could have sworn there was a way you could get, like, behind um, a bookshelf or something. You could, like, open up a bookshelf or move it somehow by pressing a button, but that might be a different location, too. I think it actually is a different location. Alright, well, I'm burning up Fusion Core here. I think we're done. I'm gonna go up in this one because I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this goes to the um, yeah the uh, upper area over here where I was already at previously. So that's no big deal. Guess they were probably done here. No fusion core, unfortunately. Okay, we'll keep going. We'll keep looking around outside here for more. Alright, so... Beacon Hill, which is over in this area, may have one. As long as I'm remembering that correctly. Should look through this area too. How close am I on weight? Still got some room. Ooh, very nice. Good stuff there. Wonder what killed you. Is it dogs? whole bunch of notes and stuff here. Military Duster, Agi-1. Uh, let's see. Ben's beautiful thought of the day. The phrase tomato, tomato, potato, potato, or tomato, tomato, potato, <laughs> is really fucking stupid when you write it out. That's true, because when you read it, yeah, it, it doesn't, uh, doesn't work, does it? Uh, okay. And what was that one torn journal page? Was it torn? 
think it was just journal page. I should get in the habit of once I've read stuff, putting it somewhere else. Something's going on at College Square Station. Haven't seen scavers come out of the entrance in a week. I know I shouldn't care, but damn if I ain't curious. Okay. Going something going on at going on at uh College Square. Wonder if there is a quest for this or something. It's not a eight item, so it's like not an ingredient. Maybe it's a crafting ingredient, I don't know. Didn't read this one last time either. This is from the guy that's dead just outside of downtown as you're going towards the access tunnels area. The bombs are stashed right at their front entrance. You'll need to dodge by whatever traps they have, whatever guards they've assigned. It won't be easy. I know, I know I don't need to explain to you how dangerous this mission is, but this is our only hope. We can't take downtown until we know they can't collapse everything in the process. We're fighting a madman, Don. This is the only way. So that was Alliance talking about... Yeah, it was the Alliance talking about taking downtown from the Federation and March into being a madman. Marchin's madness. I don't know what goes to where here, so we're just gonna... I can't see if we're going up or down. Definitely went up. Um, I don't really want to do any highway exploration right now. Just gonna go back down. I'll try the other one. Other one might go down. Maybe goes to like a basement level or something. Okay, this goes the same way. It goes up, just to a different level. Does this go over to, like, uh, ticker tape lounge and stuff? Oh, the Commonwealth Bank. Uh, I'll actually go over here real quick. There should be a bunch of money in here. I don't think there's anybody in here at all, so it's just free for the taking, as long as you can get in, of course. Might require a master level hacking skill, though, which I don't have, obviously. Novice locks should not be so hard. Sentry bot schematics, really. game wants me. Oh, there is someone here. I almost forgot. There's one NPC here. A female survivor just hangs around, I think. Can't break the code. Can't do it. She's over here, right? Yeah. I don't think I will. I think I will beat you, you instead. Me? One does not tell a power armor where a man to beat it. You know what? A dick doll and bandage was well worth it. Elizabeth Irving's journal. Read that in a second. In a Vault 95 jumpsuit. I kind of want the jumpsuit just because they're rare. Let's see here. Elizabeth Irving's journal. This, um, the new UI, I have to admit, like, Flunder's version is just better. Uh, and I may uninstall the fall UI stuff and switch over to his version because it's just not patched well for Frost. Um, it's just, it's not, like, none of this stuff is organized well. It's just all kind of thrown in here. Um, the aid stuff, I don't really care for it. It's, I like how Flunder has it organized a lot better. So yeah, I may switch back to, um, just using Def UI and Flunder's patch list for that, gonna be honest. Unless I absolutely have to use fall, fall UI to make other stuff work. But, um, yeah, anyway. 
Um, here's Elizabeth Irving's journal. Sometimes when I'm alone at night, I think about all that's happened and I feel empty, broken, as if everything that I did was for nothing, as if it was my fault all along. But then I look to the sky and I see the sun coming through and I realize that those words were just words and those thoughts are just thoughts. I am alive. After all this, I'm alive. Except you're not. Now you're dead because your head exploded. A needle couldn't take it. Vault tech couldn't take me. And no goddamn flesh rotten son of a bitch is going to take me neither. I am Elizabeth Bur Irving and I am alive. Except you're not. Except your brain's been left splattered all over that wall over there, you know? We done yet? There we go. Properly hydrated. Good. Nice. I can pick this now. Yes. And not a whole lot in here, but but okay. Be really cheeky to hide something inside of there, wouldn't it? Got a stash of drugs or something. So going down this way is a whole lot of rads. Not super interested in that. That's where we came in. So I guess you can... Before, I didn't realize you could go around. You could uh, get around her and not have to fight her. I guess I guess you can to get over to the, uh, the bank here. But... I killed her anyways because, you know... Because she had stuff, and I wanted her stuff. Don't judge me. Okay, it is like pitch black out now. And I am going to fall, I think. That's okay. I'm alright with falling. We're like right outside Fawnuel Hall. Okay, well... We're almost full. I think I already looted most of the stuff up here, right? Yeah, I've been through here already. I'm not going to spend more time looking around. Yeah. Jesus Christ, that scared me. It scared me more than I want to admit, man. What's, uh... This, oh, it's the bookstore. Okay. You are a poisonous ghoul. I don't want to tangle with you. I want you to die immediately. Someone there? No. Shoot him. Shoot him or don't. Yeah! That was like an instant grenade. It was instant. I mean, I, I don't know how I could have possibly dodged that. I think it was an impact grenade. It just blew up right away. So, okay. Okay, game. Nice reminder that Frost is not fair and you shouldn't play by arbitrary rules like not wearing power armor and stuff because Frost is also a piece of shit that will kill you and not give you any chance, um, at all. So, screw you, Frost. I guess we're starting over again.